Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Welcome to my channel and thanks very much for tuning in. This is my Frey AM1000 um, e-bike and it's got the Bafang GS510 uh, 1000 watt ultra motor um, and this is going to be a video on how to get that motor out and um, regrease so it. I bought this bike four months ago and I've done 400 miles on it um, so far um, but unfortunately I've completely worn out through one chain and um, the rear cassette so um, it actually came with a 40 tooth front chain ring and um, an 11 to 46 rear cassette so um, I've been playing around with the gearing on it to um, optimize it really so that I've got a better chain line I'm running in the middle of the cassette most of the time now um, and I've done that by putting on a 46 uh, tooth uh, steel chain ring from Surly at the front here um, and that's uh, really hardened steel and at the back now what I've done is I've put on a 11 to 40 cassette and I've got a KMC X11E chain that I'm running on it. I did also try um, a number of alloy chain rings but unfortunately they were just getting chewed up so quickly um, by the, the sheer torque of the motor I think that had also exacerbated the wear on the chain. So hopefully with the new set now on the bike, it should be much better. But as I say, my next job I'd like to do is um, get the motor out. Several people that have been watching videos of me riding the bike said that my motor sounded particularly noisy. Um, and apparently the manufacturer of Bafang didn't particularly um, well grease the motor from uh, factory. So going to open it up, clean it all out, just have a good inspection of all the steel gears within it and then um, clean it all out, regrease it and I've got some um, Mobile SHC 100 uh, grease, a, a new tube of that to uh, fill it all up. Anyway, this is how to do it. Okay, so the first job is to use a crank extractor to take the crank off. Um, so we're just going to take out the retaining bolt there. like so and then screw in the crank extractor you need to be really careful with this you don't want to cross thread it you're going into soft aluminium so make sure you tighten that right in and get it nice and tight in there and then just start winding this in and it should start extracting the crank quite easily and that's the arm off and basically we're going to do the same on the other side okay my next job is just to um, pop the chain off and the best way I've found of doing this is just put a little bit of a, a link across to bridge it um, and this is the one where you can literally just squeeze the links together and you should be able to just pop it off quite easily so let's just try that um, there we go that's your uh, magic link so keep that somewhere safe and there we go and then what we can do Just pull that chain round like that and pull it off. Okay, the next job we've got to do is to remove the spider and chain ring. Um, so you're probably going to need um, a torque wrench for this and just make sure you do it the right way. Um, it can be a bit uh, tricky, but there you go. Um, and obviously when you put this back on it needs to be tightened up to um, 35 40 newton meters so great that's the chain ring off nice perfect okay now what we're going to do is basically the same on the left hand side um, Ok 
Okay guys, so here's the bike upside down now. Um, I find this the bet this is the best way to operate on you know ver various bits and bobs. First job we're gonna do, we've got um, three bolts, one, uh, two, and three that hold the motor in. Um, and what happens is they go all the way round and through um, to this side here. We can see one, two, three. So we're gonna take the nuts off the other side and then extract those um, those through and then hopefully that releases the motor for it to be able to come out of the uh, of the bike. And you can see here as well, I just thought you'd say, show you the serial numbers. We've got, um, I'm actually running a 52 volt battery on this, the, uh, I think it's 17 and a half amp hour one. Um, and this is the, I should have mentioned as well at the start that this is the version five of the AM um, uh, thousand bike from Frey which is the 28, 2019 model, I think. Anyway, let's get on with the job. Okay, so I've got a five mil Allen key um, that I'm gonna hold on the other side, um, on the bowl, and then I'm just gonna spin these off here. Okay, so I've actually found out the best way of getting these three bolts out is actually to uh, knock them through from this side. So just get them started with the hammer and then um, just knock them. Knock them through like so. Okay. So just keep working them out like that. It's quite straightforward. One, two, three. Right, now what we should be able to do is lift the motor up and clear the frame, okay? And then we've got various connectors here that we need to uh, disconnect. So what I'm gonna do one that's the main battery okay so what you can see I've done here now is I've taped up with uh, black insulating tape three of the connectors that weren't actually connected and I think these are um, lights and and things like that that just aren't used on my bike um, what I've done on this one is just put a couple of bits of yellow tape around so I know exactly um, which ones go back together um, so now I think I'm ready to disconnect um, these connectors one two three we've already got the power disconnected and that now is the motor disconnected okay, so, so that's here's the right. underside of my bike now um, you can see with the motor removed um, I've given it all a bit of a good wipe out um, got all the cabling here um, what I've also done is um, there's one you can see just there that little loop that was one of the wires that wasn't connected to anything so as I said what I've done is um, taped over the end to just really improve the waterproofness of all of the connections. And because it's not used, I just tucked it up inside there so it's nice and neatly out of the way. Um, so now we can get on taking a look at the motor. Okay, we've got the motor out and on the bench. Now what we're going to do is just take out all of these um, retaining screws. So just loosen these bad boys off. Um, and we should be able to get in there with a drive a piece, just extract all of these. Right, so we're gonna open the casing up and it's just a case of carefully wiggling it out and there we have it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just start cleaning these bits and pieces out. It really is a thing of beauty, isn't it? Um, anyway, that's great. Let's get, get to work cleaning it. Just before I dive into this and start putting bits out and cleaning it, I just thought we'd have a little bit of a closer look at it. Um, and again, I don't know whether you guys, you know, please do comment. Do you think 
you know, this motor isn't sufficiently greased, doesn't have enough on it. Um, you know, I'm I'm just going to basically pump this this uh, bad boy full of grease and uh, see what we can do. But we we give it a good clean up and uh, fit it all back together again. So yeah, just just let me know what you think. Um, you know, is that a bit sparing on the in the old grease front? Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to have a go at lifting out the the gears. Um, so I think these two are supposed to come out together. So let's just have a bit of a wiggle. Yep, so we've got those out. We give those a nice clean up and uh, just see um, if we can get those all really nicely re greased again. So I'm done with cleaning it out now. I'm going to start pumping it full of grease. So I'm literally just going to go in everywhere with it um, and then we'll see how we go. Uh, so this is the new SHC stuff. That everyone was recommending um, red color I mean obviously you don't see this when it's all shut back up um, but I'm literally gonna fill this thing up with it um, and we're gonna go from here so I'll show you it when I've got the job done and uh, we put the other big gear wheels back in again all right so just finished right, that so job I've cleaned it up as best I can and I've just literally completely pumped it full of um Escher shc 100 grease um i've cleaned up around the edges as well where the um, gasket's going to go back everything looks in really good clean order on the um on the controller side as well just looking at all of that so that's all neat and ready to go back together um really pleased with that i literally couldn't have got any more grease in there i don't think um let's see what it's like trying to get it uh, back okay, so we're gonna have a go at getting this case back on um just need to reconnect the hall sensor um which pops in just there like that now let's just see how we go getting this back together so wires are in oh huh wow in Excellent. So let's um, pop the screws back in now. So I don't know if you can see what I've done there, but basically I've taped up all of the um, connectors now. So they're all completely waterproofed. Um, and now I'm gonna attempt to get this reinstalled. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but basically I've, I've got it, the motor in now and um, this side where you have the the plastic cover normally um just been sort of checking all around here that there's nothing's been pinched etc and it all looks pretty good um so i think we're pretty much ready to put the, the bolts back through they go through from from this side i've um, got to knock them through and um you know, i'm quite quite happy with with all of that it's all uh looks, okay, looks so we just good. greased the um, bolts up and I'm going to attempt to try and get these back in now so we're just going to knock these in in evenly <laughs> next up we're going to put the spider and the chain ring back on straight on like that reverse thread thirty five newton meters
Okay.